It is a bit of a cloudy day. Mm, no rain so far. Horses are out. We've got these four at the back at the moment. Lena's up at the top, waiting on something. Run, Roo! Look at that guy. Mr. Fancy Pants. Hello, Gracie. How's it going? What's that you say? You need a scratch of some sorts? Right in the shoulder, eh? You smell for me. Whew. There you go. That's it. I'm all done. Mm-hmm. Here she comes. She's got something to say. Here comes Yoka. Hello, Fluffernard. Did you need me to fix your hair a little bit? She says, no. We're all itchy. Deal with it. But I don't want to. Very much. Humans come around and we're just scratching posts. Luke says, sucker. That's why I'm all the way over here. Anyhow, we have taken out uh, Ohana and Roni <clears throat> as those two, or I feel, those two have kind of gotten... Well, I just... Look at this thing. See, this is what a horse should do when you scratch their butt. I'll go to the other side. The tail gets out of the way. Horses like it when they're scratched. Okay, good luck you two. Anyway, so Rony and Ohana, I feel, kind of got in the way of... Um, here, Ohana. It's like, where are you taking that guy? Get back here. Kind of got in the way of some socialization that uh, I'd like to see happen more of. And every time we sort of change out the horses that are in, uh, different groups or different mixtures give different results. One on one gives a certain result, two on one, or three at a time, or four, five, six, seven, and eight all give different results. Now we know that um, Roni likes to keep Lena uh, on track, whatever that is. Um, and we also know that if Lena's not in here, then he'll try to keep Luke with him. So, removing a bit of that sort of um, possessive behavior, we're not really, I don't think I've really defined it exactly how it is. Um, but it appears kind of possessive. Don't, know, don't go near my friend. This is my friend. My friend shall not go near um, the new guy. Yeah, for whatever reason. We don't know the reasons, but it appears to be that way. <laughs> Better get moving, Luke. And then, of course, we watched Luke uh, go on with uh, Ohana and Yoka to push him around. And uh, he's kind of on his own. But when he's in with the boys, he does really well, except Roni. And uh, if Ohana was in, then he didn't really get a lot of opportunity with the girls because she would just push him around for whatever reason. And he complied. He wasn't up for a fight. He wasn't looking to, you know, uh, cause any issues between anybody. And he made his way away. So now, but we don't have to, I don't know what we'd call them, instigators or something. We can maybe see a little bit more of how he might interact with the others. So here's Gracie first. She's been a little odd today. She's been kind of pushing around just about everybody. And uh, a little grumpy. Seems grumpy. Hard to say. Um, yeah. He says, well, whatever. 
Strange, strange horses, he says. What's going on with these ones? It's nothing like what it's like at home. And so now we've got, uh, you know, co-groomers and well, Ruse at the back. Waiting to go back in, probably, I guess. It's like, oh, I've had enough, I'm good. So, we'll give these guys a little bit of time to figure things out. He's going to need to have a roll. Luke's going to go over and say hello. It's a nice approach. That's why Luke is the ambassador around here. Our twinsies are together again. And so Gracie's watching. She's wondering what's going on with her. This is a good deal or not. And uh, now they're just going to have a little co grooming chitty chat. So it's a totally different scenario. As we try to figure out hierarchy and what goes on, and now Luke starts off his playtime and does his usual thing, which is a heck of a lot of fun, it seems, mostly for him. Those two are having a discussion. Gracie never wins. Oh, she's coming in. Nope, Yoka's coming in. All right, let's see what happens. So now she's moving into the boys. The boys are like, ah, oh, geez. What does she want now? So we'll see what happens. I'm trying to cut him off to play. Yoka's making a move to come on in. Probably, she's a little bit in heat, so she might be thinking to get some attention. Hard to say. No, is he coming to me? Hello, friend. How you doing? Do you need uh, some protection? <laughs> Go get him, Luke. Go get him. Oh, Gracie's on the move again. Jeez, watch out for the Arabian. She's moving in. He just stands kind of solid. He waits. He's patient. So far, so good. And off they go. So now we've got a bit of a herd. The one thing that's not ever happened, no matter the mixture, is uh, Lena's never gone to this guy and said hello. There's absolutely nothing that's happened there. So I think one of the experiments I want to do next is just the two of them. So they could say hello together. No, Lena, I don't want to scratch you right now. We're very busy. Yoko's on the move. She says, I like you. You look like the other guy. Luke says, take off. This is my fluffernutter. And here he comes. Slowly, ponderously. Not a lot of excitement, which is good. I'm just going to go to the other side of this barrel here, and then maybe she'll leave me alone. Oh, here comes Rue! The boys will play together. These three are great together. So far. Nope, Luke's cut him off. Ah, oh, jeez. Look who's right here. All kinds of horse all over the place. Oh, he's got to move. So now it's not playtime. Yoko's moving in, says, I'll take over, I like him. No problemo. So they'll have a chitty chat. He's not too interested. He says, says, our Slanics don't really do too much for me. I'm good. <laughs> she says, please, just a little bit of cold groom. Oh, here comes Luke. He's moving in. Says, Get away. These are all my girls. All of them. Oh, good job, tough guy. Somebody recently commented that they felt that he was above him. And again, it's situation dependent about this above business. You have to be cautious. What really defines above and below? What defines, whoa. He's just not interested in too much. It's kind of good. Kind of good. It's nice to see that he's not 
uh, overly protective or overly offended or I don't know it's a safer just you know easy going nice easy going horse Gracie's been getting a lot of practice grooming really happy about that so <laughs> this bridge gets a beaten by this guy because he kind of comes along and finds the little tiny bits that he licks a little bit Okay, let's send these two on. Just hit my leg a little. Get them moving. Did a little bit of Liberty work with just the boys the other day. It's fantastic. We got along pretty good. Uh, him being new though, uh, Luke had a few things to say about his position in the Liberty Circle. Just like kind of now, just sort of sorts him out a little bit. Sends him on his way and of course I don't know if I've ever mentioned, but I really like the way that Yoka's tail sort of just curves nicely as she goes about moving. This looks nice. It's pretty. Look at these two. Best of friends. <laughs> looks on being a pest duty. A little exercise for Rue. As usual. Oh, we almost kicked him. Get him, Rube. Kick him in the chest. He does. Luke's been kicked too many times. Deserves it. Every single one of them. What's happening, you two? What's going on over here? Tell me the whole story. Rube, why don't you just kick him? Yeah. Look at Luke. He won't even let me pet him. Get out of here, you big goofball. Eh. Leave him alone. Hello, Rue. Hello. Oh, good. Look at that. Just hanging out in the corner together. Being friends. We want a lot of that around here. And Luke's not moving in to tell him what to do. Maybe even if I back up. And you'll think, finally, I get to hassle my buddy here. Now, this is good. I definitely want a lot more of this. We want horses to be getting along. We don't want them having too much trouble. We don't want any injuries. That's for darn sure. Oh, look, she's biting his butt. Exactly the spot I was trying to brush. Somebody wrote a funny comment. Sorry, I can't remember who. Somebody said that it's a private spot. And I just thought, yeah, for humans, yes. But for horses, it's totally natural and normal to, to nibble and groom and it might be sensitive, a spot where they might be worried they'd get hurt. But I don't know. I don't think horses have a concept of privacy too much. Yes, this is good. Oh, what do you guys want? What's happening? Luke's moving in. He says, take off. Luke's not a big fan of that. She says, I was enjoying my time. Whoa, look at that. Get her, Luke. Bite her in her tail. Oh, Luke's got to get moving. <laughs> it's good. A little bit of communication. Lots of space to do this in. Oh geez, Lena just got mad at Gracie, so that's that. Friendship over. She says, Luke, take off. I'm angry now. Teaches him a little bit of a lesson. He stands tall. She wanders past, sees what's going on over there. And uh, here's Rue. Hi, buddy. Yeah, you're a good boy. Everybody knows that. So we'll just hang out with Rue here. We got Rue by our side. Lena still has not ever even sniffed noses with that guy. Not once in the amount of times he's been out. She just stays away. I wonder why. Rue, you can't hassle the camera, buddy. He's literally right. I just, he's right here. Oh no. 
Rude, nobody can see anything when you do that. You have to not fog up the camera. You goofball. Look at this thing. So, and everybody's paying attention. They think something's out. Oh, Lena's moving. What's, what's she thinking about, I wonder? Getting Luke, getting some grooming. He says, forget it, I'm out. I'm gonna chase that guy down. Oh, he's made it through. He's gonna go past Lena. Yes, he is. Atta boy. Go get him, Luke. Bite him in the leg. He's sending him. A little bit more, a little bit more. Not a lot, to, oh, to, for Pete's sake. Honestly, we're very busy right here. Did you not know that? You're just in the way. Okay, so they're just standing in the corner anyways, both having a good cough. Honestly. It's a cheap chat. He'd like to come out of the corner and come down here, I guess. I have to keep moving because this thing keeps getting in my way. Here comes Luke. Whoa. No, Fluffer, I don't want to scratch you. Good grief. Bruce here. Go scratch him. See, go to him. Toodles. Luke, go get him. Tell him to stop licking the bridge. Go on. Go that way. Oh, you... What the... Oh, look at that guy. Okay, let's get him moving a little bit. Hit my leg two times, send him on his way. Oh, he's noisy. Well, he's got a lot to say. Let's send him back in. Back into the class you go. Go hanging out in the hallway. There he goes. Gonna make friends sooner or later. Oh geez, there goes Lena. Holy. Luke's made a move, he's had to stop, turn around. Hm. Get him buddy. Good, good. Oh geez. You're agile, pal. You're looking good. Keep trying. Go. I'm gonna send him around. Looks blocked him. Luke says these are my girls. No sharesies. So that's good. Let's keep them down in this half at least. If I can keep them all together. And uh, a little bit. I'm making a little bit of movement here. I'm going forward. And so he knows to go and Luke's getting in the way of my drive. I'm going to hit my leg two times. Send, send them both a little bit. Ah, be an influence. Why not? Hey, get you go too. Hey. So, send everybody. Let's go. Everybody move. Luke, you're going to be in big trouble. Better get moving. It's a race to the top, which is good. See what I might. What I'm thinking about right now is just keeping these two boys at the front. Let them chitty chat a little. Remember, they, they're... Without any girls around, they're really good friends. I'm gonna block Luke. So now I have the girls. Now I send the two bachelors out. Looks like, what the heck? Those are my girls. Oh, look at them both. Getting noisy. Tails up. Just twinsies. Gorgeous horses. Looks confused. He doesn't understand. I'm in front of all the girls and Rue. So, 
that's how it works. Let's send Luke a little. So we're having a bit of an influence. I'm gonna send Luke, cut him off, send him. And uh, let him know that it's my herd. I'm backing up, I'm leaving, because I don't have any reason. He's already kind of wandered off. <laughs> oh, Hannah's at the top wondering how to get involved in this business. And Roni, well, he's just eating. So that's good. So something to think about, you know, when you're within a herd of horses and wondering what's going on and how to take charge. Well, if you take charge of the guy taking charge, essentially, and usually things sort themselves out a bit. Just reminders. And then the girls get quiet. All right. It's a sleepy horse right there. Here comes Lena for some scratches. Hello, you two. What can I help you with? Yeah, I already know. Just a little bit. Says my bum's itchy. Scritchy scratch it for me. All right. I bet Luke's kind of thinking, well, sucker, you got all the girls now. Now you've got to take care of them. So you kind of do. Kind of come in a little bit, do something. Here comes Yoka. She says, I'll take on some of that. And if they leave me and they go up to the top, that's fine. But if I start seeing Luke do anything that goes against my position, then uh, there'll be a chit chat to happen. Yoko almost made it ahead of me. She was close. She's still thinking about it. Hello, Luke. Man, you look good. Look at those muscles. The veins popping out all over the place. Hey, buddy. Thanks for listening to me. You're the best. Girls are sorting some stuff out. Making sure the barrel's in good shape. Give it a couple chews, just in case. Don't know why. Something to do, I guess. So, let's go say hello to our friend. He's going to see me coming. And he's going to be wondering if he should be leaving. And he might. Because I've sent him. I've done nothing but send him. I haven't tried to draw him. I'm going straight at him now. It's a big deal. So we'll reach. Hey. How's it going, buddy? All right. And now we'll drive him off. So just a couple of light hits on the leg. And then uh, we'll try to go with him a little. Not to rush him. Send him around. Artificially affect these relationships. He says... I'm going to send Gracie. See, that's not cool. <clears throat> Come on, buddy. Down you go. Just send them on. Come on, I'll go with you. Go to Rue. There you go. I gotta stop Luke. There, there's me affecting Luke a little. So he's quieter now. Hopefully for the time being, it'll be okay. Now I'm gonna mix myself in the herd. So thanks for listening, so I had to sort of jump at you a little. But I don't want you chasing them off like that. No, and I don't want to scratch your bum. I'm going to walk right through these two, like it's nothing. And uh, put myself on the other side. Rue's coming over to say hello. I'm definitely going to let that happen. That's a good thing. I'm going to stay over here. <laughs> Poor Luke. He's always getting sort of pushed around. Hey, 
And there they go. Best of friends. One thing that Rue does that's super interesting to me is he's always chewing on his skin. He'll get him on the jaw and he'll hold. And for some reason, there is a pile of tolerance that happens until it doesn't happen. And then he says, stop it. Let's see if he'll do it. I don't know if he will. They might just groom a little. We shall see. A little trouble behind me. What's going on? Ah, uh, Gracie and Lena. Get her, Lena. Bite her in the ear. These two paying close attention. I'm in the middle. See there, he's getting his butt scratched again. Interesting stuff. Hm. So there you go, different relationships, different actions, different responses, artificially affecting. I'm going to let Luke go by if he wants to, if he doesn't, that's good. Hello, Fluffer. And uh, maybe we'll call it at that. Hopefully that's been interesting. Watch a bunch of horses do whatever they're going to do for whatever reason they do it. As long as I can still step in and guide, hopefully separate at the very least which is still guidance and uh, get things a little sorted here and there everybody's friendly look what's coming up nice <laughs> he switches sides like you take her uh, <laughs> birds are going crazy robin's everywhere all right, that's it for now. Hopefully that's been interesting. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. One of these crazy antics of horses.